um, the hydros from being produced in Marseille. And so now Mo is forced to use uh, those few hydros he did have to try to do this push. An excellent positioning by Sadist. He's got his forces out front, so if any lookers try to run in, he's not going to allow them to just run in close and just um, automatically start getting hits. Having his forces out here, he's going to force them to burrow. He's going to pull his forces back. He's going to force Mo uh, to burrow, unburrow, burrow, unburrow. Picking off a lot of lurkers there. But now this is when a siege tank would come in handy. Right here. Where's that factory? Okay, there's the factory. I guess I just wasn't looking far enough down. So, siege tank with the add-on going as well. Plus one is now done for the marines. So they'll be able to uh, rip up those zerglings quite easily. Even these lurkers. Gonna need to get plus one armor going ASAP though in order to uh, prevent those marines from getting one-shotted or two-shotted by those lurkers. Let's see if you can spot this expansion. So now what is Mo doing? Looks like he's just putting all of his eggs in one basket. Going right for just pretty much pure uh, lurk here. Get into Spire mostly to deal with uh, with science vessels. Definitely not going to go Mutalisk. Would have cost way too much resources at this point. Very, very sneaky. Putting the racks up here. Just outside of range of the hatchery. Now with that siege tank and commsat, going to be able to push those lurkers back. But with only two commsat stations, he's got to be careful not to use all his commsat chasing lurkers because he might need that commsat in case Mo decides to do a counterattack. So turret's in place in case of a backdoor drop. Here comes that science facility. So where's the start port? There it is. Minerals beginning to build up here for Sadist. I thought maybe he was saving it for another expansion, but now he's just pumping off his resources into more troops and supply depots. Really needs another SCV helping this guy build supply depots because he's going to be capping out here uh, quite a lot if he only just continues to use one SCV to to do that. Creep spots the racks there. And Zergling's uh, able to easily deal with the one lone marine on duty. Oh, a lot of lurkers coming in now for Mo. Gonna be able to snipe this siege tank. But without any Zergling cover, those lurkers don't dare try to run in by themselves. Lots of siege tanks being produced back home, so we're going to be seeing a push from Sadis here pretty soon. He might try to push the Zerg expansion, but my guess is he's going to push right at the front door and just try to end the game. Yeah, you can see him coming around. Oh, nice. Dropship coming in. Goodbye, little marines. And now here comes the push. And having drawn most of Mo's forces up north, he's going to be able to set himself up quite easily in this position. Gotta be careful with that science vessel! Scourge coming in there on Anus, of course. Pulled it back just in time, though. The only thing that Sadis has to be careful of is when he unseaches those siege tanks to move forward that he does not get flanked by these lurkers. That would really ruin his day right now. <coughs> here come the marines moving in. Now here come the lurkers coming in from behind. Let's see how Mo does. A lot of those siege tanks are going to get taken out. A lot of these marines too just too clumped up but they're going to be able to mop up this lurker force with some siege tanks to spare. All very badly hurt, but hey, win some, you lose some. The filer is out. No consume researched yet, though, so that's why, yeah, it's still in the process. So, no dog swarm as of yet. Oh boy. 
this is pretty much the end for Mo. Um, not having consume is really going to be hurting him. Well, now it's finished. Now you can see him eating those uh, Zerglings. They're going to throw up a Dark Swarm. Unfortunately, his Lurkers have already been picked off. So he really can't apply the pressure at the moment. And it looks like Sadie's going to be like, well, screw that. I'm going to go hit your, nat your expansion then. There is a Nidus Canal up, though. So Mo will be able to reinforce that position very quickly. Here they come. One Siege Shank accidentally wandering the sunken range there. Gas let that Nidus Canal before the uh, Defilers come through. There go the Marines. They're going to try to snipe that off. Get that Defiler. Oh, snap. Not quick enough. And Sadis is forced to pull back here. Ouch. Juicy Chink's going down. Medic hiding in the trees. They're in the trees! Unfortunate that he didn't snap off that evolution chamber when he had the chance. But, oh well. Marines are at two weapon zero armor against plus one armor lurkers. A lot of sea shanks can get sniped off here. They get to the filer though. Should pull these medics back, try to save these medics, but I think Sadis has pretty much given this force up for dead. Backdoor drop going on here. Dark Storm going up, protecting the drones. Too bad no fire bat. I just load them all back up and fly them home, or I'll just snipe the spire at least. That's what he's gonna do. A little too late though. Get out of there! Get to the Joppa! Go! I'm gonna fly away to safety. One Marine here going the distance. GG, little Marine. GG. Large force gathered up here at home. No ultraless cavern. That's why these vultures are out, putting down a lot of spider mines. Because when Zerg reaches Hive, a, lo a lot of times they'll switch to Lurker Ultra, or I'm sorry, um, Ultra Ling. And spider mines really just help uh, destroy the Zerglings, and just and that only leaves just the ultraless, and that's uh, a little bit easier to deal with. Another drop coming up here. Help try to take out this hatchery. Prevent that double gas, which is what Mo really needs is that double gas right now to help uh, fuel his army. Because the filers are so gas expensive. That he needs as much gas as possible to help uh, help fuel that army. Having lost his expansion though, yeah, he's going to be really hurting for the gas. Too much that Mo can do here. His army is willing down. Uh, Sadis has secured another expansion. He's prevented this expansion. And he's also just putting a lot of pressure on Mo, putting these spider mines outside his base. And there's really and Mo really doesn't have the gas to do anything. Look at all these minerals he's got piling up, but he's only got three hatch four hatcheries. And he pretty much knows that there's not much he can do. You can see he ends the game there. So Mo uh, giving up game two. So now we're currently at 1 1. So our King of the Hill not out yet. So going on to game three. This is Sonic Light.